Why Tomo-chan is a girl is the best romance anime ever. But then... <laughs> Love you too, my friend. Come on. Bump. Bump. Yeah. Dude doesn't get it. <laughs> Not a word I said or that I'm even a girl. But it's true. I, Tomo Aizuwa, am a girl! So Tomo-chan, am I right? This anime was pure f peak. This anime was so good that Jesus himself was reincarnated just to sprinkle his angel dust ass onto this anime. It pulled my heartstrings so much, it almost made me break up with my girlfriend just to talk to a tomboy that looks remotely close to this woman. It made me go missionary position for every character in this show. This anime has amazing side characters, and not only it just takes them one season to kiss, unlike other animes where it takes them three seasons just to kiss, not only does this anime activate the average male neutrons, <laughs> The side characters are just We got a blonde girl who likes to jump like the bunnies, but it's just a fucking mood for everyone. And one. I can't. Then we have an emo chick that's kind of an asshole, but still yet enjoyable. Oh, that reminds me. I heard this ridiculous story the other day. And after that, we got another blonde that was about to murder every single one of his ops because they thought they touched this girl. The royalty on this man is so godly, it can be trans men in the female Olympics. Also, I wasn't sure if I heard this right, but I think this man is dating his cousin. I may or may not have misheard this information, but if I didn't, I'm going to shave my ears off with a fucking cheese grinder and poke my eyeballs with a pair of chopsticks. And then after that, we got the main man, June. Now this man, I got a shit ton of respect for. This man at the start of the show really dodged the confession by saying, thank Thanks, bro. I love you, too. That's almost like me dodging the will to eat a cyanide pill in my pocket in the middle of English class. But in the end, we are still putting our lips against something. And finally, we got the main love interest. Not only does this woman get men's boxers sticky, she gets females' panties wet. I don't give a shit if you're gay, lesbo, or bi, or even a fucking Nokia cell phone. Your pants are still gonna have some kind of substance in them. This show had everything from good pacing to beach episodes to ups and downs. It basically covered all the basics in a three-season romance anime into 13 episodes. It was like Joe Biden not stuttering in his speeches. It's a one in a million. You can't get this kind of stuff anymore. It's almost as rare as finding a female rapper not twerking in her music videos. And not only do we have emos, tomboys, and blondes, we got MILFs. Now, who here doesn't like a good MILF here and there? And if you don't, just click off this video and pull up, because we're about to have a scandalous squabble in this bitch now. If I couldn't change your mind about this like Jonah Hill did to Kanye, you are free to bitch in the comments, but if you do, give it a shot. It's worth it and won't waste your time like other shows like I Come and Got Kill. I fucking despise this show in every way possible. And like my old anime videos, which you should check out, I usually do do a cutoff scream or something like that and I really don't know how to end this but <sighs> fuck yeah we're bad bitches Baby, are you on the fence cause I'm feeling the same